Good afternoon everyone, this is Brian Weber from technicalanalysisresource.com. Um, this is just an update video for our morning analysis on the 19th of April. So looking at the euro and what it's done today, again this morning on our analysis video we pointed out that the Spanish bond auction was going to be going on between the hours of 9.40 and 10.20 a.m. Um, and it could create some market volatility that could be uh, positive or negative for the euro depending on how the bond auction went. Okay, so between uh, those particular times we can see that there, there was a lot of volatility in the market here. And we did have some nasty, <clears throat> horrible looking candles with the spike down here on this candle. And then as it moves up, it, it spiked up here as well. And this was the actual release candle, the, the, the actual candle that the, the, the bond auction was released on. Again, we can see the price just bumped up above that resistance point, but we never got the, the support hold and the continuation that I pointed out. Okay, so our scenarios are this morning where, um, if you get all of this in a, in a view here, our significant zones were the 131.40.45 up here, which was our buy zone, and our sell zone was the 130.86, which is down here. Okay, and for us to go long, what we would need was price to bust up um, out of the 140.45, pull back towards this, the, the, the old resistance point, hold it as support, get the buy signal, and get long in the market. Um, so, as you guys can see, that, that never happened. We got the bust out, but we never got the old resistance holding as support. It just came back down below that old resistance point and came back up, held its resistance and rejected again. I also pointed out this morning that um, that's the only way that we could go long or short in the market because what the dealers do is often bust price out above a resistance point because stop losses are sitting above there. Okay, so people who are looking to go short at this resistance point will have their stop loss sitting above that resistance point there. So what happens is the dealers bust out that resistance point stop stop out the short positions um, and as price breaks out the people who are just stopped out see the breakout and so what they do is go long in the market and have their stop loss sitting below the resistance point so what the dealers then do is bring price back down below the resistance point and stop them out again so they got stopped out once stopped out twice and that's what's called a fake break all right all right so that's what I, I told you guys to watch out for this morning and the only way that we could go long in the market today was if we saw the breakout, which there was, so we got the breakout, but the pullback had to hold the resistance point, 140, 130, 140, 45, as support, followed by a, either a divergence on the stochastic or um, a bullish candle formation, and we never got that. We never got any support here at all. Price just busted down and came back down below the resistance point here. You can see that on this red candle. Okay, so it never held as support. Price attempted that resistance again, but again, you can just see it was easily rejected. So never once was the 130, 140, 45 held as support. Okay, so no buying opportunities for the euro dollar today based on our significant area. The other significant area was our 130, 86, and that was to go short. Okay, and what we need to see at the 130, 86 is a breakout, a pullback, and that 130.86 or within a few pips hold as resistance and then get the rejection, the, the, the sell signal to go short in the market. So what do we have so far on the euro dollar? Well on the euro dollar we have got the breakout. Okay so price is extended down within this range here. It's broke the 130.86. We've had the pullback towards that 130.86 it definitely does look like it's trying to hold that 130.86 support as now resistance. Okay, so we're going to look for sell opportunities here. The only thing that's putting me off um, of actually going short on the euro dollar at this moment in time is that stochastic. All right, that stochastic is over so just now. And we just recently had the MACD cross below the zero line here as well. And as you guys can see here on the 15 minute chart, we just recently broke that 200 period moving average, which is a red moving average, and quite an extension down to that support. So I wouldn't be surprised 
um, because that stochastic is oversold that we get some sort of retrace before the market um, does start to move down again and the reason for that is basically to unwind that oversold condition on a stochastic okay so the trend is pretty much confirmed that we've got the breakout here and it's holding as resistance but there is scope for the you know, dollar to move back up to, to find uh, a, a better resistance, a better sell level because of that stochastic oversold. Okay, so we just recently broke the 200. Usually when we just break the 200 either to the upside or downside, we get a pullback to retest the, the 200 or thereabouts. Okay, so there's two things here. There's the 200 pre moving average has been broke and the stochastic is oversold. So in order to unwind the oversold condition, the euro would have to pull back a little bit for the stochastic to come back um, out of the oversold zone and get back to a, a, a neutral area on the chart then to allow the, the, the euro dollar to, to continue its move down okay before we see another um, oversold condition on the stochastic and the way we can actually measure that particular move is with a Fibonacci so I'm just going to measure this current swing here the swing top to the swing low here okay so Gonna take a scale here from from here. Uh, we're just gonna zoom in on this chart just so we can see it a little bit more clearer. Okay, so well, our 100% down to our 0%. So we're just looking for a retrace on the euro dollar. Um, we're looking for some confluence areas. Obviously, we do not have support resistance within the range here. Okay, so we're we're having to use the moving averages here. And if we take a closer look at the euro dollar here, we can see the 200 and also the 100 peer moving average. The, the, the 200 is a red, the 100 is the orange, and the 50 peer moving average is the green. Okay, and they're all pretty much confluence right here, as you guys can see. Uh, if I just draw my arrow a little bit more accurate here, you can see that the 150 and 200 peer moving averages are pretty much trading around the same level give or take a few pips but look what's also at that particular level is the 50 percent retracement level okay so that's around the 131 18 level but again give it a few pips or two okay so that's what we're looking for to unwind this stochastic over soul, soul region we're looking for a retrace back towards these moving averages right here as well as that 50% retracement, which is the confluence level. So we've got the Fibonacci retracement plus all the moving averages holding at this level here. Okay, we're going to call this level because it's a few pips bet between each other. We'll, we'll say this is around the 131.15 up towards the 131.20. Okay, just a little five pip deviation there. So 131.15 up towards the 131.20, we're going to call a resistance point here. And what that'll do is, pr if price moves back up to that retracement level, that'll unwind this oversold stochastic here. Okay, so we'll start to see the stochastic move up back into a neutral area that should then allow the euro dollar to move back down again um, and give us our sell signal up here to, to, to take this move. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be trading this as a short um, above the 130.86, but we've already had the breakout and we know the circumstances why it has to retrace. Okay, so we're not trading a, a short trade blind here straight in the support. We've already breached the support and for the oversold conditions to unwind, we need to see a retrace in the market. Okay, so if we can get that retrace back up to the 50% level, as well as those moving averages, we look for a short, a short trade setup and we'll get short in the market and try and trade this down towards that 130.56, 130.40, 130 130.30 support band that we see um, down here okay now guys I'm not gonna take any buy trades today for obvious reasons the market is looking rather uh, bearish just now the only way that you could really turn bullish again is if we actually do see a break above that 130 140 45 and it does hold its support it has to do that another break above that level without holding its support is just no clarifications all, all that would be doing if we saw another breakout, for instance, if price moved all the way up here and broke out of that 140.45 level and didn't hold a support, then all, all that would be would be a double top, an intraday double top. Okay, so that would be a really bearish sign for a market to fall again. So really, if we get a breakout, another breakout of that level, it has to hold a support here 
for us to get long or rise, which is going to class as a double top. All right, so just to clarify that short trade, once more, we're looking for a uh, retrace back to that 50% retracement level. Or there, there or thereabouts, okay? And then the, the bearish sign to get short in the market. 38% to 50%, really, is what we're looking for. Um, we're looking for some sort of divergence or um, a bearish candle formation to get short. And again, we'll be trading that down towards the, the 13086. 130.56, 130 130.40, 130.30. Okay, guys. So hope you have um, a continued great trading day. If your if your trading day has been good already. Okay, catch you tomorrow.